live stream. Everybody, let me, as ever, get the Facebook stream going, and then we will begin. Cool. Go live. Just one button I have to push there. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Um, it is time for the next episode of Let's Play the Top 10 Games on the Nintendo Power Top 30 list. Um, every issue will be covered up to some year where I finally get bored of Nintendo. And uh, guess what? We're on game 23, which means this is episode number 7. Um, today we're going to be covering Ghosts and Goblins, a pretty minimal port of a wonderful arcade game that was made for the Nintendo, and uh, somehow it convinced 10 people to vote for it, 10 whole people to vouch for Ghosts and Goblins in the July 1988 issue. So not a ton of people going to bat for this game, but it made the list. It's more than the other games. And the Ghosts series is a, a Stone Cold classic series, so it's cool to see where the roots are. Uh, a couple ground rules. Um, these are casual strolls through the game. And since I can't be an expert at every game on these lists, we're not going to let my skills get in the way of our content tourism. So if uh, my skills are kind of keeping us from going on, uh, we're going to use cheats, we're going to use safe states, we're going to try to see the ending in this game today. That's my goal. I want to see the ending to Ghosts and Goblins. Um, the other thing is um, I curse and I drink whiskey. And um, I also pepper the stream with dad jokes. Um, so. These things will all happen. Uh, yeah, episode seven. I, I've i stuck with it this far. Um, the only thing I'll say before we begin is look at that box art. This theme that Capcom had going with the 80s like laser grid was so, that's so nostalgic. It looks like skating rink art, right? Um, it's easy to sort of, sort of miss that. Uh, yeah, the Mega Man, the first Mega Man had that going on. Ah, uh, I love it. I found a really good copy of the box art, so super vibrant cover, uh, color. Um, I don't even know what kind of cheats are available for this, so we're going to find out when I inevitably get stuck in this game. Um, yeah, we'll be using RetroArch to fly through it, so... You might see the menu for that pop up from time to time if I need to save the state. Um, okay, I think those are all the ground rules. Are we ready? Are we going to play Ghosts and Goblins now? I think we are. So, Ghosts and Goblins, you say? Set that down and. Here we freaking go. Or do we? I have to have the screen selected, don't I? Yeah. Ooh. You see this guy naked a lot. Ooh. So I'm kind of used to Super Ghouls and Ghosts, because the SNES Classic came out, I hacked it, I put all kinds of stuff on it. This is clearly jerkier animation. It's not a nice smooth scroll when the screen is going, like uh, Super Mario Brothers. It's, they scripted something that is iterating here very choppily. And it's moving quite a bit faster. Oh, oh, this weapon's terrible. That's so cheap and shitty looking. We're getting to the point where... 
I remember when the NES was out, old Atari games looked absolutely horrible. Cause, I mean, it didn't even have square pixels or as many pixels. It had these big, wide, rectangular ones. And uh, the animation was terrible. Like, so few colors. And now, when I look at some of these NES games, they're kind of like where Atari was. <laughs> I mean, my, memories, my memory would say so. We've come so far. Oh my god, who do I have to blow to get rid of this fucking fire weapon? Oh shit. How is that a... I don't know how that duck is actually... Wow. So many bugs right there. I'm ducking, things are going through me. A knife falls in the river, I get it anyway, but it stays in the river. And then I just fell in the river while I was ducking there and not moving. Oh, I keep the knife! How nice. <laughs> okay. Okay, so far, knife is by far the best weapon. Okay. Throw a ton of them in there really fast. The spear ain't shit compared to this. Oh! Yeah, you thought you were slick. Oh, I was hoping that was armor. Yep. Just getting a feel for things. You can easily uh, start enabling the cheats. Oh, you know what? I never switched uh, to this screen here. I'm so sorry. Let's let you guys see what I'm seeing. Okay. There we go. Since I'm probably going to edit out the intro, I'll tell you this. Welcome, welcome. We're playing. Ghosts and Goblins today. Episode 7 of Let's Play the Top 30 Games from Every Issue of Nintendo Power, starting with issue number 1 in July 1988. This is number 23, with 10 votes. Capcom's nest port of their arcade classic Ghosts and Goblins, and I am fighting a weird-looking dude. Alright. Before we torture ourselves much more, let's see what the old cheat database has in store. We're gonna go to Nintendo Entertainment System. We're gonna go down to Ghosts and Goblins. I believe I'm playing the USA version. So, let's see. One life for one player. Infinite lives. Why not? Zombies carrying baskets. I <laughs> modifier. Adds more options to the title screen. That sounds fun. Each zombie shot gives you an extra life. I have infinite lives. The armor from the intro is left everywhere on the one. I'll try it. That's crazy. On the first stage and sometimes and can sometimes equip it. Okay. At the beginning of stage one, Arthur dies in the intro. Let's try that. Items and enemies are worth more. I don't really care. Jump higher. Infinite armor. There we go. Alright, that's enough. That's enough. We're gonna... Oops, did I apply these? 
I did not. Why? Okay. Let's restart. And now we should be able to fly through this shit. Oh, interesting, huh? Alright, infinite lives, infinite armor. And the game is glitching out. Hmm. Let's see, it's under cheats. Let's, let's do that one more time. Let's reload and just do infinite armor. That's all I really need. Ghosts and goblins, USA. Oh, wow. That's kind of acting funny, isn't it? Let's see. Can I just say G? No, I can't. Ghosts and goblins. Game Genie. There we go. All I really want is infinite armor. And I'll try infinite lives too. Actually. Cause I could fall off the cliff a lot. Infinite lives for players one and two. Apply changes. We restart. Okay. Come on, baby. There it goes. Bam. You're doing too much. Alright, we're gonna see the ending to this game. That's my goal. Yeah, pretty choppy animation. Oh, hey. Oh, the armor's back. Thank you, Game Genie. You granted my wish. These gravestones are bullshit. No! Ah! Oh. I was already walking towards it and I already hated it. I already regretted my decision. understood how a piece of land was just kind of all on its own, moving. Is that a screen clearer? Maybe I should have waited for enemies to be by. Yeah, that collision detection is bullshit. But I'm glad, because being knocked around sucks. Oh, that was pretty slick, you gotta admit. Oh my god. Six. This is gonna be easy. Ooh. I can see this will be where I'll be glad I have infinite lives. Oh. Oh, man. Please get me off of this horrible fire weapon. I didn't even want it second after I got it. Before I got it, I didn't want it. doesn't clear the screen. Oh, shit. Oh, boy! Oof! I'm 
know what noise that was, but that was for you. Ooh. Guess I'm in a decrepit old village now. That's interesting. Kind of pig people here. Very tough pig people. <laughs> You know, the fireball just floating at the bottom to tell me that I shoot fireballs is... Is that really the best idea they had? They could have put it in the top left, kind of where the other game information is. But, it's not all bad. Oh look, more fire. Please stop hitting me. Turn into such a glitchy mess going down ladders. And then I kind of come back, but here I go. What am I? <laughs> I don't know what that is. And then when I stand up, I'm good. Woo! And now I'm. I'm like bloody when I jump. Bloody, bloody, bloody. Oh. This could be worse. Oh, come on! It, it, it got worse really quick. There we go. Piece of cake. Is it me or did my fire throne get a lot further? Might be. Where's it gonna start me? That looks a lot like the beginning of the level. Okay, it's not. Yeah, the beginning of the level was the blue platform area. Could have been nicer as the freaking like beginning of the village area, but okay. I'm cheating enough as it is. Still give me this godforsaken fire weapon. <laughs> and I'm a bloody Spider-Man when I go on ladders. I'm gonna stop fighting these people. War. What is it good for? Alright. Oh shit. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, let me stop shooting fire. That's just cool. Like, without this cheat... Eight, nine, ten. Ten shots to kill one of those guys. And they touch you once and you're dead. You know? That's how, that's how they treated children back in the 80s. Just torture them. out. Sorry, is she I? Right. Making it through. Go all the way up. Come all the way down. Another of the same boss. Oh, he's spry. Excuse me. Oh, there it goes. Two. I'm allergic to something. Hand trap and catch it. Excuse me. Alright. Level two down. 
I'm to level three, you ghosts and goblins. I tell you this. Ooh, different music. We're at 20 minutes. I could personally use a dad joke and a shot of whiskey. Um, question. Why did the cookie cry? Because his father was away for so long. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a bad joke, and that causes me to drink. Also, the shame from cheating this badly. Um, this one goes out to the developers of Capcom. Okay. Was that bad or what? going down there. <laughs> Whoa. The whiskey helps. The whiskey numbs the pain. Stuff it down with brown. That's insanity. I have to go down in this shit? Alright. Woo! God, give me another, another weapon. Why was I born? Woo! Go, oh, shit. Ugly asshole. These guys look like fucking, like, pork loins flying around. <laughs> there goes a pork loin, just got me. Eternal armor helps a lot. With eternal armor and, and whiskey, what can't you do is really my question. I could probably be president. I had infinite supplies of armor and whiskey. <laughs> Not sure how that would work, actually, but I like that idea. I could just personally fight all our wars. I would just. If someone's fucking with America, it's like. Just get me drunk. Let me walk around there with my armor. They'll shoot at me, they'll shoot at me, nothing will happen. I'll just handle it. Isis, don't worry about it. Hey, cool. That I don't know. Uh, you know, when you enable cheats, you definitely... Seriously, are, is fire the only power-up I'm ever gonna have? When you enable cheats, you are actually editing values in memory addresses, which could be controlling other stuff. I mean, it was total trial and error and just kind of monitoring the values while the game was running that uh, the Game Genie people even got anything running at all. They're like, if we change this, the number of lives seems to change, or when that happens in the game, that value seems to change, so maybe we could change that value. Unintended effects are everywhere, though. I mean, uh, so... The red thing, I could totally believe it, relating to the infinite armor cheat. It seems to not happen at the beginning of the stage. It seems to start happening when I climb a ladder. One of those things. Okay. Ooh. What am I even on? It's like eyeballs or something. That seems different. I don't know, 
what the hell that was. It looked like meat on a stick or something. No, that doesn't continue. <laughs> Chitty makes it stranger. But we would never be seeing any of this if I hadn't done it for us, so... Okay, where is the platform that's going to get me out of here? Those might overlap for a second, the two nearest me. Okay. Ugh, come back. Whoa! I think that guy was my ride. This guy. Hit my right. Aw, oh, man. I don't know why I was expecting it to, like, reverse direction so suddenly for me. The game is not that kind. Pretty undistinguished uh, song composition, to be honest. Is this a surface? No. That's all right. Oh, it was the marker thing I got. I wonder if that changed my... Is that a checkpoint thing? Not... Yeah. Not really. I don't think that's why I picked it up. Okay. We're motoring along. Yeah, that thing. Didn't do me a whole lot of good. But... I might as well get it again. Interesting noise. Okay. This one really moves fast. Okay, this is good, this is good. Oh shit, I got scared. Alright. You dickhead devil thing. Ha! Ah! Oh, a shield. What? I just throw shields. Cool. That's straight up insane. I don't have very good range. Is that gonna stop? Should I just... Yes, it will stop. I picked up something, I don't know what. I'm a fucking frog now? No attack. Oh, cool. I'm back. Two levels from now. Okay. Well, the rate that I've been getting power-ups, that's about right. Whiskey shot. It's Thursday night. Pork loins are after me again. We'll see. I seem to remember, like, Super Ghouls and Ghosts had some kind of thing like that. You got a more holy, light-filled type weapon towards the end, which is pretty awesome. 
God, that game is good. Ooh. You know, this for a NES game is not so bad. It's just kind of janky. It doesn't scroll smoothly. Oh, an axe. Is it better? We'll see. It seems about the same as fire, to be honest. Except it doesn't impact on the ground. There's that thing again. I don't know what is making that noise, but it's awfully annoying. Are those immune? No, it's not immune. Oh, the ash just goes through everything. I see. I ain't worried about it then. Shit. Oh. Knock me off my shit, man. I was busy. Try not to be assholes here. Ooh, Rod, I'm so sorry. Inglés, Inglés. Whoa! Gosh! Oh, I can just climb up the ladder. <laughs> Alright. Well, if that's where I'm trying to get to anyway, I might as well just skip the fucking platform. Fuck off. I just have feelings of revenge for that thing. Okay. I do have to get on this platform. so low, I can do two axes every, like, three seconds. And those guys require ten shots to kill. Honestly, they're harder than the bosses that I keep encountering. Alright. At least in terms of being H... HP sponges. Oh, about to run out of time. They are not playing with this fucking game. Is this a way out? No, I'm dead. Shit. Go up here, there's nothing. Get the four coins. Death is the way out. I think that to myself in life gets hard just in general. Is that too dark? That's too dark. Let's just play Nintendo games. I wish that powered up the axe. It would be nice if there was just more variety of the power up situation. Oh, I hate you. Why don't I have a knife? Ten. Jesus. I know, I know. I wish I had it. I haven't seen it since the first level. On the plus side, doing a lot better on time. Really? Oh, I, s I certainly hope they give me one. They seem to be pretty stingy in this... I don't know if 
this is the boss, but I'm gonna fight him now. Seems like it. See, I'm telling you, this guy is easier than the HP sponge big brutish guys who rush you and take 10. You know it, Bear's Party. The Ness game makes him look so little. Who the devil creatures from Rygar? Oh shit balls. Man, would you just fucking die already? All right, I take back what I said about the bosses being easier. Am I not hurting him? It's kind of the noise that damage makes with this thing, right? I mean, Capcom could have done so many different things to tell you you are doing damage. Mogolan. I'm running out of time. Honestly. That probably resets his health when he goes off the screen. Dude, I was wailing on that guy for two minutes. And game time. Oh, man. I gotta get a better weapon. I just simply... That's a no dead end. I might have to look and see if there's a cheat for just a stronger ass weapon. Stronger ass. Woo! Fucking monster mash up in here. the damage noise. Her, her. No, come back! Oh, shit on my father's balls. <sighs> Sorry. I do have a potty mouth. I do have one. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. You'd net all the people who pimp their Discord channel and stuff. I'd like to drop in the chats and uh, send links. Sorry about that. Hey, at least that guy was killable. fight him? That's my other question. Like, does this level go... This is the termination point of the level. With a minute left, there's just no earthly way I can actually beat him. I had two minutes last go-round. Rygar had some crazy enemies. That was... So the first episode of this series 
because we're doing the top 30 from Nintendo Power, July 1988. Number 30 on that list is Rygar. Just the weirdest game. The NES version is not so great. It didn't hold up for me. I think that's the problem. Surely by now this guy would be dead if I could actually hit, hit him with the axe. But every time I see an enemy with a bag, they don't drop a weapon, they drop like... They drop a, an armor thing that's just worth points. A doll. Yeah, so Rygar was an arcade game. Even with all, it seems like a very long, sort of questy, you know, game where items unlock your path, like a Zelda or Metroid structure. And yet, it was an arcade game. Somehow, they made that into an arcade game. It looks and sounds a lot better. The arcade version of Rygar is uh, pretty, pretty nice looking. In fact, I think they just released. Uh, a port, a direct from the arcade port of Rygar for the uh, Switch, if anyone watching has one. It's like eight dollars or something. Sixteen-bit graphics as opposed to the eight. See? The bags drop axes and dolls. I don't know what to do about that. I feel like I should have had the shield. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm going to do is actually look at the cheats really quick, because maybe there's some way we can help ourselves here. Let's see... Each zombie shot gives you an extra life. Armor is left everywhere. Arthur dies in the intro. Items are worth more. If there's an item you didn't get before, you die. It. I don't know. Oops. Oh. Is it this button? Uh, I see. I'm just looking for something that would get me a different... This is the cheat list, man. So... Less crows, I like that. When an enemy drops a basket, there's nothing in it. That's not a good item. Uh, the magician doesn't appear. Let's not worry about less crows. Most weapons are super destructive. Let's take it. Jump twice as high. You know, bounce when you get hit. That's all right. Zombie carrot will drop armor. Oh, look! I can control their drops. Drop armor. That's not what I want. Fireball. That's not what I want. Axe. Not what I want. Dagger. Let's say we want the cross or the shield. The cross. That seems like what we want. So now, let's re-enter the fray and see what happens. Super destructive thing isn't impressing me. Oh, well, that was good. Oh, 
That's crazy. The cheat is like really widening the collision box for it. Did I please say that drop will be there when I come down? It's a fire. Maybe that'll work better. I'll try it. Oh, I'm so terrible. I'm so bad at video games. Alright. better killing those guys. Much, much better. It's fascinating to watch this stuff play out. Alright, now let's see what happens. Just like that. Here's the stupid axe. stretch? I think we're on... I can't remember if that's five or six. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Do I want the waves? Sure. Got some distance in my throat. Ha! Ah. This is pretty great. This is how the game should have been made originally. Sorry, I, I should be talking more. I'm just, like, kind of mesmerized by... ...how powerful I am all of a sudden. That invince... that, uh... ...massive damage cheat is awesome. I guess I can't really kill this thing, so I'm moving on. I was able to kill its body. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. <sighs> yeah, that's alright. Go ahead and beat up on me. Oh, he's gone. Nah, I don't want that. I can't imagine trying to play this shit without these cheats. Oh my god. What a brutal game. They're just flying at you. Eh, I wasn't a big fan of the axe. The axe is just too damn slow. I think that was a dead end. That's one. Just like that. Hasn't this weapon has not effect? Try again. Get a shield. Oh no! Not not effect. It sends me back to fucking four? Okay, five. Well, we will see about this. Let us see if I can uh, massage the uh, drop rate here. You called it, man. You fucking called it. If there's an item... Uh, that was weird. Most weapons are destructive is awesome. If an armor is awesome. We'll drop a cross. That's not what we want. Not a lance. Not a statue. Not reducing timer. Maybe by 
Most zombies are carrying baskets. I think... I guess... I'm guessing that what they are calling a cross was actually the, the shield. So let's find that one. There it is. Okay. Yes. Cross the shield. I agree. Let's apply those. And resume. I think, um... <laughs> I think throwing a weapon, it no longer... respects the, uh, y-axis. If it crosses the same vertical plane as an enemy, even if it's way above or below it, it gets hit. It does have to be on the same, uh, have a horizontal collision, but it does not need to have a true vertical collision, which is kind of awesome because being able to take that guy out is pretty cool. Shield? I can't get that one. Can I? Maybe I can. Let's find out. Alright. Everything is coming together. So, we got the shield. We got the infinite armor. We're super destructive. Most zombies have bags. They all... They're supposed to drop shields. Yeah, there we go. Eight, nine, ten. Oh. Tempts me not, dagger. You're my favorite weapon, but I'm not the right one for this situation. Imagine being a kid who fought through that level is so hard only to get that message and get sent back here. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna do this level one more time. With the right weapon. We're gonna see the ending of this shit. Just like I said. By hook or by crook. In this case, a lot of crook. Your couch. Okay. I'll see you later. Then. Just throw your little party down there. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen the ending of this game. There's, I never came close. I don't think many people did. Wow, the devil ones don't really respect that uh, Y axis hack, so. Alright. Yeah. No, thank you. Insane. How many devils are they gonna put? I call them devils. I don't know what their name is. Alright. You ugly devil, you big devil. Getting the key this time. Oh, I think I got it last time. Let's see. Ooh. Now we're at the 
top of the castle. I'm gonna murder this asshole. <laughs> it's a trap to visit by Satan. I didn't catch that. Did it just start me over? Did I get a false ending? Okay, obviously I'm not about to play this whole game again. I think... I think that was pretty anticlimactic. Um, let me just Google really quick. Because what the fuck? Okay, ending to ghosts and goblins. Ness. Full playthrough with real ending is on YouTube. You have to beat it twice? I guess so. Yeah. Holy shit balls. I was so nervous at the end. Well, okay, we're not gonna do that. So if you wanna see the real ending, just go and go on YouTube it. Uh whatever that was. We we did see ninety nine percent of the game Ghosts and Goblins for the NES. We saw two different bad endings. Uh one where I didn't have the shield, one where it starts you over. What an absolutely brutal, horrible, torturous game. Um, but hey, that's why we're playing all this old stuff. Because, uh, you know, it's all pretty weird and out of time at this point. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe. And all that kind of stuff. Um, and tell your friends, I'm here playing... Uh, the top 30 Nintendo Power entries <clears throat> from every issue, starting with issue number one. We're still doing Ju the very first issue, July 1988. This was episode seven. Uh, episode eight will be on Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, I also do VR Sundays, so I work at Oculus, have access to their whole library, um, and we kind of do a different game. Uh, on Sundays uh, every week and I never play the same game twice it's always a different game it's always a lot of fun and there's always more dad jokes and whiskey to be drank um, I've had fun thanks so much for hanging out and watching um, Ghosts and Goblins god damn um, I'm going to try to have so next week if you look at this list um, next week the game is actually baseball the old NES version of baseball, which would be really dry. So I'm going to try to get my buddy uh, Rob to join me and we'll play it online together um, and talk some trash about it. Uh, yeah, until Tuesday. And uh, actually, for those who want to see the VR program, I'll see you on Sunday. Um, yeah, have a great night, everyone. Thanks for watching. And fuck goes and go.